Chloe from here with Save the Victoral. How's everybody doing today? Fantastic, I hope. Today, we're here to play with the Lethal Cosmetics um, Berlin 1989 palette. Um, yeah, look at it. It's gorgeous, hey? So, well, the palette itself is gorgeous. It's like this, and then it comes like so. It has like a little cutout and you go like so. I think that's a lot of fun and it has a really good color story. I'm really enjoying it. There will of course be some swatches there for you. So this is the second look that I did with the palette. So this video has two looks in it. And if you'd like to see how I got this look and see what the other look like look looks like, um, you're in the right place, especially if you want to see me fumbling around with makeup. As well, again, I'm older, I'm 52, so um, you can see how it applies on older skin. But uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying this palette and this was a fun look. And any excuse to make a look to go with my uh, Fenty um, pumpkin rose lipstick. Alrighty, so that's enough of me babbling. So let's just get on to swatches. So here, um, editing me, I just went and did just on my iPhone so you can see better how the swatches look. I'm going to stick this in front of the video that I took when I discussed the colors so that way you can really see them this way and then I can show the names in the next clip. But these are the swatches. This is a really pretty palette. I like this color story. I know not everybody was fond of it, but I think I'm liking it. I'm going to get some looks out of it. And then just in case, there is my kitty Abby. She likes warming her butt in front of her laptop. Welcome to Berlin 1989 from Lethal Cosmetics. Take a look at this beautiful cutout packaging and you just push the cakes out like that. You can see that it's a cutout. And then we've got our beautiful palette. So there we go. So this is a pre-made palette. So it's not like the other lethal ones where you can pop out um, your shades from the back and rearrange if you like them in a better manner. And then these are the colors of the palette on the outside of the palette, which to me reminds me of graffiti from the 80s. And then when you open it up, of course, it's got your mirror. And then other than that, you've got this fun, oh gosh, here we go, fun color story here. So there we go. And then it even has a duochrome, which is right there, a multi-chrome. Like right now on the screen, it's looking pink, but I I don't think I can get it there. You can see that it's changing a little bit there, but it's really hard because for me, when I look at it right now, well, you can see a little bit, it's kind of got like a bronzy cast, then you turn it another way, it looks green, and then it looks purple. So anyways, this is not focusing very well. So see, there's the colors there. Okay, maybe it might shoot this a different way after I show the swatches, but here we go. Here's our colors. So right here um, is a light shimmer. Sorry, you can't see it very well, but there you go. Pale, pale colors, but this is transit. This is the black, which is east and west. It's nice and buildable, which you will see in my look. This is THF. Then we have go to the color zone, which is this blue color, there we go, blue color. And then we've got this mustardy color here called Republic. And then this one here is black. And then there's that multi-chrome, which is breakthrough. You can see it there, you can see it a little bit changing. And then there's the color Sputnik which at first I thought was pretty close to black, but now that I'm seeing it, this is a more br bricky red, and then this is a more pinky red. And then we've got the color Prefab, which is this kind of like 
blurplish gray. And then we've got another shimmer, and this is called Reunion. Then we've got this orange shade called Berlin. And then the last one is Checkpoint. So that's them there. It's going to see if I can just swatch with my finger to make this lighter shade look better for me on my hand so that you can see it better. No, not so much. It's still, but it's very pretty. Um, when you put it on your eye, oh, there, there you can see right there, it's got like a pinkish, pinkish cast to it, but it looks more whitey gray in the pan. It's very interesting. So anyways, this is our swatches. And again, as I always say, swatches aren't always the best. Um, it's how they perform on the eye. These all feel, especially the mattes, feel so beautifully smooth. They're actually really nice to touch, almost silky. And then the, the shimmers are also really soft. Anyways, this is the swatches. So this is the Berlin 89 from Lethal Cosmetics. Alrighty, so on to the first look. Hey, are you ready for our first look? This is what I'm doing right here. So we are playing with the Berlin 89. Look at this cute packaging. So it has a little cutout. And then when you, whoops, there we go. Pull your palette out, got the cut out there, and then you've got this bright color, which this is based on in 1989 when the Berlin Wall came down. I was, what was I? I would have, would have been 20? Yeah, yeah, I would have been 20. And that is the color story. You would have seen the swatches previously and then there's that duochrome there you can see it shift there so there we go it is super nice i really liked this color story um i know a lot of people didn't think that it felt the time but to me it really does feel like a lot of the graffiti colors that were out at the time so i've got a meeting today so i didn't want to go too crazy so i thought we would do a bit of a smoky look and then I didn't bring any glasses, but we are going to be using, I think this is prefab. So that's the gray down here. We're using the black, where which is east and west, we're using the black. Um, we're gonna be using a little bit of this shimmer in the corner, and I wanna say it's transit. I will um, write the names up on top. And then we are using the duochrome, which is Breakthrough. So depending on how you look at it, it's purple, it's kind of gold, bronze, green. Yeah, it all depends on like when I'm holding it down here, it looks green. When I went to put it on at first, I forgot this was the, the multi-chrome. And then I was like, oh, I'll use this bronzy color. And then it went on purple and I was like, oh. <laughs> so anyways, let's start here. Oh, and then I also have, I just got one of the eyeliners. I hear that they're really good, but I didn't want to go too crazy. So of course I picked the green one and that one was, oh, Terrible eyesight, terrible signal. Yeah, so that is the green here. We can open that up. Oops, take a little, it has a little seal on there. So there we go. And then I've heard that these are ones that um, they can, I guess, go dry quickly. So, you know, pick a color that you're going to use. So I thought, well, of course, green, right? Okay, so we're first going to start. I just took the super mighty fluffy brush. I dragged it into prefab, which was that gray. And then we went and then we put it onto this eye here. I'll just sit back here so I can focus a little bit. Actually, let's get my new mirror, which you're not going to be surprised has gotten dirty. Oh dear. And then I was, I did a video which is already up. I used the um, Age of Opulence by Beauty Bay and boy <laughs> did those um, pinks and purples stain. 
I've got several layers of eye primer on here, so hopefully this isn't going to wreck anything. <laughs> And which was nice at first I always thought okay well maybe I'll because I'm gonna do a second look for, for this one for sure but at first I thought oh well maybe I will do an eye look and do my base afterwards but that well when I did my one eye it's like I had no fallout so let's hope that that goes for this whole look here so anyways there we've got the gray and then I also took that color on the bottom on the waterline as well. We went and we did the gray. And these, I really like Lethal's um, shadows. I have one where I made it and then now I have this one. This is my first pre-made one and then um, yeah apparently on their other ones you can um, poke out the back and rearrange them if you want them because they usually don't have the names on but this one has the names on and so this is I guess a totally pre-made palette so yeah but the quality is seeming as good as I remember from the palette that I got made or that I got to pick the colors, um, which were huh, lots of greens. <laughs> Surprise! So there we go. There's our, the gray part there. And you can still see, um, where are we here? There's still that pink coming through. It doesn't matter how much primer I put on, it seems like the um, pink wants to come through, but we will, with the other colors, we will get there. So there we've got our base down, and then I went into the black, and then this is, it goes on lightly, so this is a good black, I think, if you are a little bit hesitant which, with blacks, which I am, so this definitely does build up nicely. So you don't have to worry. I mean, I know some people like it right away to go on bam black, but I think for when you're just um, starting out, I think it's really good to um, be able to, I think anyways, to build a black. So then we're gonna bring that right up to the crease there. And then we brought that, yeah, no further than that. Yeah, I think that's good. And then, and then we, and again, you can always build up, build up, build up. First, we want to get our little shape here. And then I'm going to take my favorite little blending brush and then we're going to blend that. And I didn't do it super, super black, just kind of like more smoky. It's almost like I'm doing grays. And that was my original plan. I was going to use the lightest shimmer um, on the lid, do almost a gray look with a little bit black and gray, a little bit of shimmer. But then I tried the shimmer up on top here, and then I really liked that. So I thought, well, maybe I'll try that other sh shimmer. And then I got that beautiful look there. So there we go. And then let's build it up a smidge more. Okay, and then we're going to give another little bit of the blend. I'm trying to get better at blending things. There we go. And then using a little flat brush, and of course we're going to be using our trusty spray. We're going to go into Breakthrough, the duo crowns. I keep nice coating on the brush there. It's so pretty. It's funny, and now I'm looking down in the pan, it almost has a copper look to it. It's just so funny how with, with multi-chromes, depending on how the light hits and how you're moving your eyes. Like right now it's looking really purple, but... But as I've been kind of told, this is it's almost like it's more for other people to see like as you're out and about, um, you know, opening and closing your eyes, that they get more of the effect than you do. 
I did actually bring that right up. And just a smidge more on the bottom here. There we go. And then what I did is I just took a little bit more of the black and then just kind of on the edge and darken it up a little bit. And then a little bit of the black onto the bottom, onto the edge with the gray. And then again, a little bit of a blend, especially on the corner here. Okay, so then what I did was, grab this little brush here, I took a little bit of transit which was the lightest shimmer that's in the palette. And this one too, I think almost has a bit, it looks like from kind of like from white to pink or silver to pink. So I did that up there. And I also did in the inner corner, like that. And then I used the liner. So then I just took this little teeny brush here. Oops, there went the lid. Always drop it things I am. And then it has a nice um, cushiony, cushiony soft feel when you go into it. And then I did it with the waterline and then just slightly onto the edge of the eye. It's going to take a close up mirror here. My, so my trusty close up mirror here. And then so far, it's on this eye, it's lasting in my waterline longer than I usually find with things in my waterline. So I have some high hopes for this liner. So that's that. Yeah, this is really nice. I'll have to pick up that lid in a second. And then all I did was, because again, I've got Zoom meetings today and training today, so I don't want lashes again, but maybe for the next look, maybe. And then, and there we go. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? And then we got to use one, two, three, four shades. So, third of the shades in the palette. And then that is our look. That's it. So that is just the, the first try, like the first play with this. We will see what else we can do, but look at, see, you can see, see a little bit on that eye there that it's shifting. See, it's kind of going green. And then maybe that pink. Yeah, I like it. Alrighty, so that's it for this look and on to the next one. Hey, are we ready for our second look? I decided to do a little bit of like a sunsetty eye here, and some nice shimmer in the middle. So we're gonna quickly look at the colors that I used. So for the crease, we used Republic which is this yellow shade here. And then for the inner corner area, we used a Berlin, which is this nice orange. For the outer, we used a little mix of Block and of Sputnik. And then for the shimmer shade in the middle, we used Reunion, which is right there. Alrighty. And then of course, again, we used our nice green liner. I've been really liking that. So let's just start with the yellow edge first. And just, just from side to side, just a nice, here, let's a little bit back so you can see. These blend so nicely, like so. Just so the colors have somewhere to blend into. Okay. 
And then again, as always, we can um, intensify as we go along. And then this is the perfect look to break out my uh, Fenty lipstick. Maybe a nice poop yellow. Well, here it looks a little bit more orangey, but in person it's a little bit more almost towards a baby poop yellow, but. All right. Then we went on to the inside with Berlin. I think so. I hope everybody's having a good day today. This is hopefully going to load on Friday the 29th, just before Halloween. And then still deciding, I think I'm planning a little bit of a look, so I might shoot a video on Halloween of what the look I decided to do for Halloween. If not a full video, at least a little clip of what I am wearing. So there we go. And then we've got that nice orange of Berlin. And then we're gonna go first into block. Oops. <laughs> and then for eye primer today, I used a P. Louise Space Pro. It was an O2 rumor. It seems to work well with these shadows. And then I got it padded here. And then I'm going to lightly do a little, just a little bit of a line, not quite a wing. And so yeah, I think that's good. I don't think I need to touch more red right there. While we're playing with red. And And then to darken it up just a smidge, that's where I went into the other red, Sputnik. And then we just patted it a little bit darker. All right, and then we're gonna go back into the yellow a little bit. And then just to match it to the other side, I'm gonna bring it up a little higher. I should plum that up a little bit too. There we go. Things look a little bit better, different under the brighter lights. All right, and then we're also going to Slightly swoop the yellow along the little red, not quite wing, but let's call it swoop that we did there. Here we go. And then we're just going to quickly go and intensify some of the other colors here. So let's start with the red, since I have that brush handy. And then we'll intensify the orange. And there we go. So then what I did for the center, I just took a little bit of a white, white base. And then I just stuck that into the middle to help a for the shimmer to stick and then because we have some color there I wanted to do a little white in the center so the shimmer has a place to stick. Okay there we go. And then I did it so it covers a little bit into the red and a little bit into the orange. Right. 
teeny bit more. Okay, so then we've got the white base on there. And then I just used my finger to tap it on. I just always find that shimmers, so pretty, go on way nicer if you're able to tap them on with your finger. Though with nails, I sometimes transfer the shimmer a little bit. So maybe I'll use my pinky instead. There we go. It just goes on really nice, shimmery. All right, and then I just went in with the same colors again along the side, just to give a little blend in. So a little bit into the red, and then a little, a little bit, oops, not the yellow, a little bit into the orange. And then along the top, just a little into the yellow, just to make sure that the shimmer's not going too high. There we go. And then we're also going to put in the center, center, mm -hmm. inner corner. We're also going to use this shade. It's pretty sunsetty. Then taking this, this little thin, teeny weeny little brush, we are going to go into the um, color signal. So that is the green lethal liner. And then we're gonna do that along bottom as well as in the lash, into the lash line, into the water line. And then I'm going to run it along the bottom of our little swoop wing and merge that to our corner here. So. Yeah, yesterday this liner lasted all day in the waterline. I was very impressed. And then the shades throughout the day too, they went, I guess as my eye warmed up, they just, they stayed on really nice. And the shimmer just got, it felt like it got more shimmery as we went along. So then we just need a little quick bit of mascara. I think that's it. I think everything is blended, dark enough. Yep. Yeah. A little mascara. I was going to do lashes, but I have another heavy duty computer day ahead of me. So, mascara it is. Oop. Okay, there we go. Then that is our sunsetty look. What do you think? Isn't it cute? I'm really enjoying this palette. It's like, again, it's that very, you know, to me feels like kind of a lot of graffiti colors from the 80s. I really like it. And then so far we've used, what? the only thing we didn't use is the, the brown, the blue, and the Purple, I believe, are the only shades I've not tried out in this palette. So, there we go. That is our easy look for today. Yeah, that's it. So, if you liked this video, if you'd like to give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and maybe hit that notification bell, and that would be greatly appreciated. I'm a teeny weeny, teeny weeny, teeny weeny, weeny weeny channel. And any like, comment, or subscription makes me happy and goes a long way for um, keeping the motivation to keep this channel going. Again, I'm just doing this for fun. This is not, you know, I know it's not going to be anything huge. I'm just doing this for fun. Something to do during our panini times. And there we go. So that's our look. I hope you're doing fantastic, having a wonderful day, weekend. I hope you have some good plans for Halloween. Safe plans. 
but good plans. And we will talk to you soon. Bye.